A Legacy of Faith I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in truth. 3 John chapter 1 verse 4 I have fond memories of Grandpa Francis, but I don't recall my very first distinct memory of him. Was that first memory the sight of him leading out in a Friday evening Vispers program? Or perhaps it was saddling his donkey to go to his farm? He was always busy doing something. I was raised surrounded by my father's side of the family. Mom and Dad separated when I was very young, yet somehow we three girls found ourselves surrounded by the Francis clan. As such, I received my spiritual nurturing from Grandpa Francis. I recall many family worship sessions that were held in his room. Then, there were the family choir practice sessions directed by, yes, you guess it, Grandpa Francis. I smiled as I remember those rehearsals. The songs had to be just perfect based on Grandpa's standards. As a child, I knew my grandfather was blind, yet in the midst of his darkness, he brought me to light of God's love. He modeled industry. Grandpa's lack of vision did not impede his ability to farm his land and provide for his family. He was a man of faith who was dedicated to serving his God. Another great legacy of faith that Grandpa left me was the value of being on time for church. No one, not even his precious wife, Lynn, could make him late for his divine appointment with God. Decades after his demise, the values Grandpa Francis passed on still resonate in my heart and mind. In fact, I try to carry on as I live out Grandpa's legacy of faith in Jesus. I live in the anticipation, as he did, of Christ's return so I can be a part of the great reunion with loved ones. I am encouraged by the words of the first song I sang with my family choir. What? Never part again? No, never part again. And soon we shall with Jesus reign and never, never part again. I challenge you to live according to the legacy of faith in Jesus that you have received and to improve on it as, by God's grace, you endeavor to impart it to succeeding generations. Andrea K. Francis So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.